Hello from the Future of Go Summit in Vujen. I'm Toro Grapel, researcher at DeepMind. I'm here with Michael Redmond, Nindan professional. Michael, what can you tell us about the game? Well, I'm going to talk about uh, a move that Kreche played. Also, I'm going to talk later about a move that AlphaGo played. But this, the move that uh, Kreche played here, um, Invasion of the 3-3 point, is a move that was sort of unheard of at this stage of the game until AlphaGo played it about six mo months a game, uh, ago in, in a set of games that we're calling the master games. Um, and usually it's not played when white doesn't have extensions toward the side. But in this case, black invades the corner, and AlphaGo made it work in a couple of the games that it played in that 60-game series. And Kretsch is actually being, you could say, imitating that. And with his own interpretation of what AlphaGo was doing, um, he has been using this same move that AlphaGo played. So just looking at this one move, I can sort of see how Kretsch is trying to learn something from AlphaGo and use the tactics that AlphaGo was using. Michael, there was also this move that AlphaGo played. Can you tell us about that? Well, it's a very strange looking move in that from the viewpoint of this enclosure here, it seems better for White to be closer to the corner to protect the weakness there. So it looks really strange, but actually it turned out to be a very effective move in that it was setting up this peep that came next. Right. And this peep was putting a lot of pressure on Black here, where Black has sort of captured these four stones, but this adds a lot of potential to those four stones and it also increases White's potential on this part of the board. So this move, which we didn't understand at the time, was actually setting up the peep, and as the game progressed, we gradually realized that this is the point of the game where actually White took control. So this is an example of how AlphaGo can be strangely um, effective in the way it chooses moves that we don't expect. Fascinating. And how was this followed up then? Well, after Black played here, White peeped once, and black played here to capture the four stones, and then white played here, and black extended. And so black had this weak group on the lower side, and then white played another fairly slow looking move which cut black here, and it didn't actually threaten to save these stones, but it made a lot of extra potential for white in the area, and made white, as a result of that, white was very strong in this general area, and as we say, thick. And, and it added some potential to attack these stones and that ended with a good result for White. And so these two or three moves here, which looked strange to us at first, were actually probably the decisive moves of the game, or the, at least this part of the game. Fascinating, thank you.